Indian tribes are over there in the land of ostrich, which you call now North, Central, and South America, and the islands of the sea. So the brothers and sisters back then saw Mahasha, and they witnessed him, and they wrote about him in the New Testament during this time. And whosoever among you fear Yahweh, to you is his word of salvation and sin. So if it's telling you that, and you know you're the Israelites, how come y'all don't believe? Because your minds are corrupted by the devils of this world and these doctrines. You got to go by the word in the book. You got to go by the law and the testimony, precept upon precept, line upon line. But how can you teach unless you be sent? And how can you believe unless the Most High chooses you from amongst the tribes of Israel to make you a disciple and of the elect? You have to be chosen in the high calling. The high calling of Yahweh Bahashim Mahashim, Jesus Christ. See? So that shows you right there. So let's go to the next scripture. Matthews chapter 10, 5 and 6. Matthews chapter 10, 5 and 6. When Mahasha, Jesus Christ, got his disciples together, who did he tell them to go to in this chapter of the Bible? Let's read. These 12, Jesus sent forth and commanded them, saying, Verse 2. Who were they? The names of the twelve apostles were these. Simon, who was called Peter, Andrew, his brother, James, the son of Zebedee, and John, his brother, Philip, and Bartholomew, Thomas, and Matthew, the publican, James, the son of Alphaeus, and Labidius, whose surname was Thaddeus, Simon, the Canaanite, and Judas Israel, who had betrayed him. So these were the men that were following him and that were chosen to be apostles and they recorded it in the book. And what did he tell them to do? He said, These twelve Baha'u'llah uh, sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles. The word Gentile, when you read, in the Bible dictionary, the word Gentile means what? Gentiles means what? A non Israelite people. He didn't tell us to go to the Gentiles, he said, Go to the Israelites. That's who he said to go to. Gentiles in this verse of the Bible means the nations. He said, oh, go to the nations and to any city of the Samaritans and to ye not. Why did he, why did he told them not to go to Samaria? You think about what I just taught you. The Assyrians besieged uh, Samaria, right? What did they do after they besieged it? Let's go into their historical records. Let's go back to 2 Kings chapter 17, and we're going to read what happened. 2 Kings, chapter 17. What happened back then for Mahasha to make a statement back like that? The Assyrians, after they took out the ten tribes, put somebody else in there. Today they're known as Malachian Jews, Kushites, Ethiopians. Let's read what happened and let the Lord's word be true and every man alive. Second Kings chapter 17, all right, and verse 24. And King Assyria brought men from Babylon, which are the Cushites, and from Kutha, and from Abba, and from Hamath. Hamaths. Genesis 10. Verse 6, Cush, Ethiopia, Mizraim, Egypt, Put, Libya, Canaanites, South Africans. 
at this time, Babylon and Kutha, meaning Kush. These are the so-called Ethiopian, so-called false Israelites, Jews today. They're not the tribes of Manasseh. They're not the tribes of Ephraim. They're not the tribes of the Israelites. Because the king of Assyria, who was Ashur, brought in those nations to do what? And from Shabbat Vezim, and placed them in the cities of Samaria instead of the children of Israel. And they compassed and they possessed Samaria and dwelt in the cities thereof. Now, while they were there in the city, remember, these are heathens in the Holy Land, put there by the edict of a corrupt, wicked king of Assyria. What happened next? And so it was in the beginning of the dwelling there that they feared not the Lord. Therefore the Lord sent lions among them and slew some of them. Wherefore They spake to the king of Assyria, saying, The nation that sent lions among them and slew some of them. Wherefore, they spake to the king of Assyria, saying, The nation that thou hast removed and placed in the cities of Samaria know not the man of the God of the land. So the Ethiopians were never Israelites. They were never part of the twelve tribes. They knew not Yahweh. So Haley Selassie is alive. For you Benjamites is out there. Uh, you Kushites that's keeping the commandments for the most high right now. You're all liars. When it says in Revelations 2 9 and 3 9, I know of them that say that they're Jews and are not, but are the synagogues of Satan that's also talking about them. But the so called Edomites, the so called white man, Ash, uh, the Ashkenazi and the Khazars, those are the main ones we're talking about when it says the ones that's not Jews. So the Ethiopians, Kushites, are also in this conspiracy against our nation and against us as it is this day. And it says, uh, Therefore, he sent lions among them, and behold, they slay them. Because they know not the man of the God of the land. Then the king of Assyria commanded, saying, Carry thither one of the priests whom ye uh, whom he brought from thence, and let them go and dwell there, and let them teach them the manner of the God of the land. We knew the law. So when we taught those Ethiopians, the king of Assyria told him to do that, not to hollow. So from that day until now, those so-called Colossian Jews who migrated eventually down there to Ethiopia are not the Israelites. They'll tell you, they dress like us and everything, put on robes, turbans, and all that. And they even saying they got the Ark of the Covenant when well, we know according to the Apocrypha, the writings and the documents and the doctrine and the law of the testimony is hidden in a mountain until the Most High gathers the 12 tribes of Israel together. That's why we can prove all things. And some of you brothers can't prove it. You just go along with it because it's a fact. But everything the Lord said, in the Bible, he's going to make them so-called Jews come and bow before our feet in the last days. Because they're not Jews. But the synagogues are sick. So therefore, he said, Matthew 10, 5 and 6, and to the Samaritans, and ye not. That's why he said, don't go to Samaria. <clears throat> but go around to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So our message to you, if you're on this side, 
the Lord said, go to you and do what? And as you go, preach, saying, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. That's what the Lord told us to do. Go to the lost sheep of the house of Israel and preach, saying, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Let's go to Luke chapter 19, verse 10. <laughs> Luke chapter 19, verse 10. Here's another scripture that tells you about the lost. Here we go. For the Son of Man is come to seek and to save that which was lost. Matthew 10, 5 and 6. Who is that? The lost sheep of the house of Israel. And say unto you, return to backslide in Israel, Jeremiah chapter 2, and chapter, chapter, chapter 3, verse 12. He said, return, O backslide in Israel, for I am married unto you, and I will take you one of a city and two of a country and bring you to Zion. Let's read that real quick. Jeremiah, one of my favorite prophets, because things that he said back then is going on right now. Chapter 3, and we're going to start at verse 12. It is written, Go and proclaim these words toward the north and say, We're going to north, central, and south America where the bulk of our people are. Now, some of our people might be in Liberia. Some of them went back over there during the time of the civil rights struggle. You have some of our people in Europe. You got some of our people in the Caribbean islands. And so right now, is scattered in four corners of the globe. But in Genesis 49 and Deuteronomy 33, they tell you where the bulk of us is at right now. The tribal markings, the geographical locations. And that's why the Lord said Israel's a peculiar people. Ain't nobody like unto us. That's why we know, as we were being taught by our elders, and the Spirit revealed this to us, who we are. The rest of y'all is lying. But hopefully, the Most High will open up your eyes today and let you see this. Alright? So let's go back to the scripture. Jeremiah 3, 12. Go and proclaim these words toward the north, which is north, central, south America, and the islands of the sea, and say, Return, O backsliding Israel, saith the Lord, and I will not cause my anger to fall upon you. For I am merciful, saith the Lord, and I will not keep anger forever. Only acknowledge thy iniquity, that thou hast transgressed against the Lord your power. What do y'all have to do first and foremost? A lot of y'all out there, you listen, but you ain't studying. And you're not submitting. The book of James says we have to submit to the Most High. You got to submit to this law and this word, Old and New Testament. You got to confess with your mouth that Mahashah is the Lord and Savior. And if you don't do that, the Lord said things will befall you in these last days because of your non belief and you'll be destroyed. And I scattered your ways and the strangers under every green tree, and I will not obey the voice of the Lord. Israel right now is in every denominational whorehouse, every denominational tree, every root of wickedness and darkness, and lost in the sauce. Worldwide. And the most I told us to tell y'all this. If you ain't coming through the straight gate and dealing with the law and the testimony, you ain't got no light in you, man. All right? And it says this. Uh, verse 14. Turn, O backsliding children, said the Lord, for I am married unto you, and I will take you one of a city and two of a family and will bring you unto Zion. This is how the Most High is calling the people. One of a city. So if this word is preaching you, you got to answer the call. What cities are you in hearing this word? You got to answer the call. One of a city and two of a family. In your family, if you got five brothers, two of them might be called. The rest of y'all will be left behind. 
See? And I'm going to bring you to Zion. So eventually, we're going back to Israel, to the new Jerusalem. This is a work of Yahweh Bahashem Bahashem. Many of my brothers were called, but they're not chosen. And the Most High told me to move on with this, to fulfill my call. And the Lord said, you must work out your salvation with fair and trembling. And he said, as you go, go to the land of the north. And he said, repent, O Israel, and return, O backslide, Israel. For the Lord is married unto you. And he's going to take you one of a city and two of a family. Let's go to James chapter 1, verse 1. James. That was one of the disciples and apostles. What did he say in his writings? Did he say, uh, James, a disciple and apostle of Christ, to Rome? To the Moabites, to the Ammonites. No, let's see what he said. James chapter 1, verse 1. James, a servant of Yahweh and of the Lord Mahashah. See, you got to have both of them. That's why the brothers be teaching, and I'll teach the same thing. You got to have the law and the testimony and the faith of Mahashah. If you ain't got that, the spirit of the Lord, you cannot teach this Bible. And all you brothers out there with your minds all twisted up with all them doctrines and devils in there, if you don't come straight and flush this out with this knowledge, this is your medicine, you're going to be sick and you're going to be destroyed until the end. You must come to the straight gate. James, a servant of Yahweh and of the Lord Mahashah, Jesus Christ, to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad Greetings. You see what they said? You see who was saluting? He said to you brothers and sisters of the 12 tribes that are scattered abroad, greetings. And the letters went out. My brethren counted joy to be full into diverse temptations. And they were talking to us as they talked to the brothers back then. These same letters have power now in the gospel. And he sent this out to the tribes that were scattered abroad, and he sent it also to our brothers scattered abroad. Let's go to St. John's chapter 11, verse 45. We're going to bring it out today and show you. St. John's chapter 11, verse 45. What were they talking about? St. John was talking about this. Chapter 11, verse 45. They had stuff going on back then, and they acknowledged what Mahasha was doing, and they acknowledged the scriptures, and this is what they said back then. Then many of the Jews which came to Mary and had seen the things which Jesus had believed on him. But some of them went their way to the Pharisees and told them what things Jesus had done. Then gathered the chief priests and Pharisees of council and said, what do we do? What do we? For this man doeth many miracles. So back then, you had a derision amongst the Jews. The Israelites that went left there in Jerusalem. What were they talking about in the Pharisees and Sadducees? If we let him let us alone, all men will believe on him. And the Romans shall come and take away our place and nation. They were wrong about that. They thought. If Masha was going to let the people follow him, which the Lord intended him to do, they were carnal, thinking the Romans going to come get you. The Romans came to get you anyway, us. Because it was prophesied that we must fall. And the Roman Empire came in, besieged Jerusalem with Titus in 70 AD, just the way the scriptures said he, that, that, that this would happen. And Masha spoke about that in the book of Luke. That we were going to fall. And we did. And here it is today. We all scattered abroad. And it says here. And one of them, named Calpheus, being a high priest that same year, said unto them, You know nothing at all. 
nor to consider that it's expedient for us that this one man should die for the people and that the whole nation perish not. The whole nation. You talking about Judah down to Issachar. Christ came to die for the Israelites under the covenant and the law, the children of promise. Romans chapter 9. Let's write on down. That's what it means. In the Old Testament and the New Testament, it backs it up. See what it says? In verse 51. And this spake he not of himself, but being high priest that year, he prophesied that Jesus should die for that nation. And not for that nation only, but for also he should gather in one the children of Yahweh that were scattered abroad. Who was scattered abroad, abroad people? It damn sure wasn't the damn Romans. It wasn't the Greeks. It wasn't the Persians. It wasn't none of them other nations. It was talking about the ten tribes. I brought that out earlier. The ten tribes of Israel that were scattered abroad, they're part of that other fold. And this is the prophecy that the Lord said uh, in Isaiah chapter 9, verse 8. They were going to be called and the other ten tribes and a lot of bonehead negroes out there, a lot of y'all bring yourself into these heresies and you're fighting up against the Holy Spirit and the law and you will be destroyed. You don't believe that the other tribes are who they are, you need to come and learn so you can be saved and have knowledge. The other ten tribes of Israel are the Puerto Ricans, the so-called Dominicans, so-called North American Indians, those are our people and we acknowledge that. These are the ten tribes that left Assyria in around 722 BC and migrated over here to so-called North, Central, and South America and the islands of the sea. That's who the Most High, Mahasha, was talking about building them back into one nation. This is a prophecy that's going to take place in North America and the world where they scattered at in the last days. Listen to this. Isaiah chapter 9 verse 8. It is written. Let the Lord's word be true and every man alike. The Lord sent the word into Jacob and it is lightning upon Israel. The word is Mahashah. So his teachings is going to be brought to our people by the elect of Israel in these last days. And we're going to tell y'all repent and believe in the gospel according to Mark chapter 1 verse 14 and 15. Acts chapter 3 verse 19 on down. We just read it in Jeremiah that we have to go to the land of the north and preach unto you saying come on back in. Come home. Come out the, 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 the desert. Come out the rain. Get your head from above under water and come above the water. You're sinking. You're dying. You get killed. You're confused. Your mind is broken. Who can kill you? Only the Lord can. See? We know. First time. And all the people shall know. Eventually, we let y'all know this right now. Y'all gonna find this out. Either you're gonna accept it, or a lot of y'all gonna die. Even evil and the inhabitants of Samaria. There we go again. The Ephraimites, according to Deuteronomy chapter 33, they were the ones that pushed the other tribes to this side of the earth in the prophecy. Apparaya, the so-called Puerto Ricans known as the Taino Indians. Those are my brothers. And we're going to prove that they, they are our brothers. They say the pride of stoutness of heart, the bricks are falling down. This is what y'all say. Man, that old brother, that was a long time ago, man. That was thousands of years ago we was Israel. The last spoke to some of y'all. And y'all just go, man, that's a long time ago. That's what y'all said. But we will build with hewn stones. 
The sycamores are cut down, but we shall change them in the seals. And what y'all do? You turn toward the other gods. You made up your own religions. You had your Tahino dynasties, which fell until the Spaniards came. And as it says in the book of Hosea, the east wind came, and Columbus came with them swords and them Spanish uh, dogs, and they killed our people, and they destroyed us. And that's what the whole nation of Israel in the 1500s, after the Renaissance, the prophecy started taking place on all our people, and we started going down as a nation together. All right? So let's go to the next scripture and show you the next thing that the Lord said that it was going to happen. So that's the proof right there. There's going to be a gathering of the tribes in this area of the north. All right? Let's go to Isaiah chapter 43. Verse 3. Let's go to Isaiah chapter 43. And we're going to start at verse 3. This is going to be a great gathering. And this is how the Lord is going to do it. Listen to this real good. For I am the Lord, the Holy One of Israel. I say, I gave Egypt for thy ransom, Ethiopia, and Seba for thee. Since thou wast precious in my sight, Thou hast been honorable, I have loved thee. Therefore I will give men for thee and people for thy life. So the most high got all these nations set up so we can take them down and bring Israel home. Isaiah 14, the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and yet choose Israel. He loves you, man. Fear not, for I am with thee. I will bring thy seed from the east. Y'all hear that? Seed. Joel 8 and 8, go check out who your father is. The seed is carried by the man, not the woman. Your father has to be from so-called, and we say so-called, because we're not Negroes. We're Mama, Yasha Allah, mean Hebrew Israelites. They call us today so-called Negroes and so-called Native Americans and indigenous people of North Central and South America and Islands of the Sea. They are Hebrew Israelites. Mama, Yaksha Allah. So the Lord said uh, that he will bring I will bring thy seed in verse 5 from the east and gather thee from the west. So we came from the east and we went to the west and the Negro slave trade. These people on the side behind me to my left the 12 tribes of Israel, where I'm dressed right now, in the garments, with the fringes, and so forth and so on, we dress like this in ancient times. We walked around in the robes, and the turbans, and the headbands, and the jewels, and the uh, breastplates and stuff, and ornaments. That's how we used to dress before we came into captivity. After we came into captivity, then we came down and were put in slave clothes. And now you see these brothers, I call you so-called false prophets. You're running around in church in them damn white man monkey suits. Take that garbage off, according to Isaiah. He said, put on your ancient garments and gird yourselves up. And you brothers need to take off them damn t-shirts and put on your robes. The elders taught us that in the Bible, and I'm teaching that now, and I'm pushing it. Put on your ancient garments when you get ready to teach. Take off them t-shirts, man. We got to gird up our loins and our minds. He said, gird up your loins and your mind and put on your ancient garments, man. Those are not ancient garments. T-shirts, and so forth and so on. We need to put on our garments. Get your garments, man. That's what the Lord is ordering us to do as a dress code. With the borders of blue, the fringes, the turbans, the headbands, and gird up your minds in this knowledge. It says here, uh, verse 6, I will say to the north, Where's the book our people at right now? In North, Central, and South America, 
in the islands of the sea. I will say to the north, give up, and to the south, keep not back. Bring my sons from far, and my daughters from the ends of the earth. So there's going to be a great gathering here in the land of the north. And Yahweh Shema Hashem is going to come through here and bring forth these prophecies and he's going to start waking up some of our people in this land of the north. Jeremiah said this. Uh, Jeremiah 3.19 But I said, How shall I put me among the children and give thee a pleasant land, a goodly heritage of the host of nations? How? And I said, Thou shalt call me my father. Abba Shema Shemayim. And shall not turn from me. When the Lord said that, not turn from me. Meaning that don't turn from the law, statutes, and commandments. Once you come into this thing, I see a lot of brothers come in. And years later, you see these brothers walking around looking like derelicts. And bums. And they ass out, and they sick, or they dead. Because if you turn back to the Most High, and you forsake these commandments and these teachings of Mahasha and the prophets, the Lord said it's best for you that have not known this, that you turn back to your own fight. See that? In verse 18, And in those days the house of Judah shall walk with the house of Israel. We're going to come together in this land so. Under Yahweh Basha Mahasha. And they shall come together in the land of the north. This is North America where we are right now. <clears throat> and to the land that I have given for an inheritance unto your fathers. What land is that? When you go back into the Bible, that's going to be New Jerusalem. The New Jerusalem is coming at the second coming of our Lord and Savior Mahasha according to these scriptures and this Bible. So we have to gather ourselves together. We have to be prepared. And the most important thing that the Lord wants you to do, and I keep telling you, brothers, you must receive instruction from the elect of Israel and learn these commandments and laws and repent from your sins and come in and be instructed. This is what it says in Jeremiah in the sixth chapter. All right? Jeremiah chapter six and verse eight. Be thou instructed, O Jerusalem, lest my soul depart from thee, and I make thee desolate and a land not inhabited. So you brothers out there thinking that you don't need a man to teach you, you're wrong. You sisters out there don't think a man should teach you your law. Romans chapter 10 says, How can he teach unless he be sent? Blessed is the feet of the ones that's going to bring you the gospel and the good news. And they are sent by Yahweh Bahashem Asha. And the elect of Israel, I salute you, brothers, and you brothers and sisters out there who are lost. The Lord says, Come in. And drink this water freely. For it's time for you to seek the Lord. In Hosea chapter 10 and verse 12. So my name is Priest of Talmud, Master Journey Israel. My name is an evangelist of the Bible Based Ministry. If you want to reach me, reach me at the Bible Based Ministry, P.O. Box 1302, Matterville, New York. Zip code is 11949. Office phone is 516 302 3145. Email address is Sojourner Israel at gmail.com Yeshallah Yahweh, the name of Yahweh Basha Basha, peace and blessings to the 12 lost tribes of the nation of Israel and the most high to Mahasha bless you and yours Yeshallah Yahweh